I'm gonna be eating my way through Steveson Village and I'm inviting you to come along with me. Because Steveson's famous for their bounty of fresh seafood and their peaceful village vibes, it's just one of those places that you have to visit if you're a seafood lover, like I am. So come along with me, this is One More Bite. Hey guys, what's up? We're about to head to Steveson Village, which is in Richmond, BC. And today we're gonna to be trying some seafood. And we're gonna explore the village a little bit and see what it sort of looks like because I've never seen it. So join me and we're gonna have some fun today. Steveson has been around since the 1800s and it's a quaint little neighborhood located in Richmond, British Columbia. It's where the fishing and canning industry thrives. So our first stop is going to be at Steveson Coffee Company, which has a great selection of coffee, tea, and of course food, because I need a little pick-me-up to start my day, and I heard this was the perfect place to get it. got this grilled cheese. I kind of stepped out and got a little snack before the actual meal because you know I'm always hungry. Uh, so we got this grilled cheese with a bit of ham and it's got some uh, cranberries in there. So let's get that. Mm. The sweetness of the cranberry really works with it. It's very delicious. Very melty too, which I love. This elevates a grilled cheese, let me tell you. And it's just coming from a coffee shop. It's very delicious. So we just finished up with uh, Steveson Coffee Company and I gotta say it's lived up to the hype. Coffee is amazing, the food's amazing, so that's definitely a place that you can definitely check out. Uh, don't go to Starbucks, go to the places that sort of was born into this, the place that we're in, you know? Like Steveson Coffee, it's, it probably means something to this place. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is head to the wharf, which is just up the street here, and we're gonna see sort of some of the nice fishermen boats, see what kind of, you know, see how the industry works here uh, because there's a big fishing industry here. So we'll get a bit of that before we head to our uh, lunch. So anywhere I like to go, I love to see a good market. And I was excited to learn that there's a whole Fisherman's Wharf market. So we're gonna go check it out. Um, I love the sights and smells of these places, but this one's right on the wharf. So it'll be exciting to see what they got. Unfortunately, I always come on the absolute worst day possible. I have this superpower where like every time I want to film a food video, the clouds suddenly turn gray and it starts to rain, but it's fine. We're going to get through it uh, because where we need to go is actually inside and that's where all the food is. Actually, before we get to the food, I want to take you on a quick detour to a, a very special place. It's the Gulf of Georgia Cannery Museum. Yes, my friends, you heard me correctly. And what does one expect to find in such a cannery museum? Well, canned fish, of course. Lots and lots of canned fish. Okay, enough of the detour. It's time to eat. And the place that I want to show you is right above the water called Blue Canoe Restaurant. And this is a place where you'll find, well, you guessed it, great seafood, but you also find good drinks, a chill atmosphere to watch the game, or even go on a date. I highly recommend that you check this place out if you're looking for something a little more upscale or a little more fine dining. Uh, so we made reservations, got in. Uh, so we came right at 12 o'clock when they just opened. As you can see, it's pretty empty. So we kind of have this place to ourselves, the outside area at least. Uh, so we're gonna go try some of their seafood because 
I'm really excited. We've seen all this seafood from the wharf and, and all around, but we haven't got to try it. So I'm gonna show you what that is like. I'm excited and we're gonna get some drinks to start. Just finished off at Blue Canoe, and of course I am so stuffed, I could not possibly eat one more bite. But of course, the show is called One More Bite, so we're gonna have to go for one more place, and it's another great spot for seafood. This one's not fine dining, so it's a little on the cheaper end. Uh, we're gonna give you some options here, uh, so I can't wait to show you what that's all about. Pajos is one of those places that comes highly recommended from people who come to Steveson. And someone like me who loves fish and chips, I was excited. It's a great option if you're looking for something more affordable or you just need something quick to go walk along the pier with. I highly recommend you come check this place out. All right, so that was our uh, Steveson Village food tour. Um, I'm glad you got to join me on this my first time and I thought it was very, very delicious. That's all I have to say. They do seafood very well here. They really give a <coughs> where their seafood comes from. Um, and I absolutely love this place. So if you like the content, all that fun stuff, blah, 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 like and subscribe. We'll see you later, peace.